Honorable member for Peterborough. Mr. Speaker, the government has smartly prioritized skills training in order to respond to critical labour shortages, as well as to create more opportunities for individual Canadians. In this regard, First Nation citizens across Canada have accessed the Aboriginal Skills Employment and Training Strategy as a way to improve their skills and contribute toward the Canadian economy. I note that recently the Standing Committee on Human Resources and Skills Development recommended that the Aboriginal Skills and Employment Training Program, or a similar program, be renewed for a minimum of five years, a suggestion I support. Can the Minister of Aboriginal Affairs and Northern Development please comment on this program? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I, th I thank the member from Peterborough for the question. Indeed, uh, the ASETS program is administered by Employment and Skills Development. I've just completed uh, six months of consultations with First Nations communities and employers on the renewal of uh, the Aboriginal Skills and, uh, and Education Training Strategy. Uh, I will uh, look forward to an announcement in uh, the months to come, but it clearly is our intention, Mr. Speaker, to renew and improve uh, Aboriginal skills development programs. We have an enormous opportunity, if we can get this right, to address the underemployment of Aboriginal Canadians and many of the labour uh, shortages that we are facing. We intend to do exactly that through smart investments to help Aboriginal Canadians gain gainful employment. Here, here.